Well, I'm putting the puppets to bed a little bit earlier tonight because it's been half term week and they've had such a busy week. They're all absolutely worn out. And today we've been busier than usual. They're just exhausted. Have a look and see what it was that we actually did. So what they've all been doing is helping me do some of the jobs that I usually do all by myself. I wonder if you do any jobs at home to help out. And they said, but we're sort of being servants. And I think they got that word from this story, which is Cinderella. They're going to have it as their bedtime story in a minute because Cinderella was a servant, wasn't she? And she was made to do jobs, wasn't she, for her wicked stepmother and those two ugly sisters. Well, I didn't exactly make them do the housework, but actually, I think once they got into it, they had quite a good time and we all had fun together, didn't we? And actually, when there's lots of you to do jobs, it's also much easier, isn't it? So, Servant is a little bit of an old fashioned word, isn't it? And I wonder what you think it, it really means. Well, somebody who's a servant is somebody who serves you. So perhaps today you can think of somebody who you've come across who served you in some way. So if you went into a shop, then a shop assistant might have served you or perhaps helped you to find something that you needed to buy on the shelves. Or if you'd have been at school or if you've been out to have a meal, you might have been served by somebody when you had your food. So that definitely is a servant, isn't it? But I wonder if you think that perhaps people serve you in other ways, but we don't use the word serve. So I wonder if you think perhaps that your teacher might serve you in some way because they're helping you to learn, aren't they? Um, there must be lots of people who, who do sort of jobs to help us out, doesn't there? What about somebody who comes to your house and does some decorating or perhaps a gardener who helps somebody with their garden because they're all serving, aren't they? Even though it might be their job. Now, it wasn't the puppet's job today to do the housework and it's not my job in that I don't get paid for it but it is something that I do each week and actually I don't really mind doing it I do it gladly and we all benefit from it because the house is clean and we have clean clothes to wear and also I do things like like cooking so we all keep nice and healthy now in today's Bible story, Jesus had something to say about serving each other. 
So I'm just going to read it to you now. Well, the story comes from Matthew 23. Now, Jesus was talking to the people about the Pharisees. Now, this is what he had to say. Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, the teachers of religious law and the Pharisees are the official interpreters of the scriptures. So practice and obey whatever they say to you, but don't follow their example. For they don't practice what they teach. They crush you with impossible religious demands and never lift a finger to help ease the burden. Everything they do is for show. On their arms, they wear extra wide prayer boxes with scripture verses inside. And they wear extra long tassels on their robes and how they love to sit at the head table at banquets and in the most prominent seats in the synagogue. They enjoy all the attention they get in the streets and they enjoy being called rabbi. Don't ever let anyone call you rabbi, for you only have one teacher and all of you are on the same level as brothers and sisters. And don't address anyone here on earth as father for only God in heaven is your spiritual father. And don't let anyone call you master, for there's only one master, the Messiah. The greatest among you must be a servant, but those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. So Jesus was really quite angry with the Pharisees, wasn't he? Now, the Pharisees' job was to interpret the scriptures and they knew an awful lot about law as well. And so they told people how they must worship and the laws that they must live by each day. Now, I've shown the puppets this picture, but it's a picture of a Pharisee. We heard how much they enjoyed dressing up in their special clothes and how they flaunted their clothes and thought that their clothes made them look much more important than everybody else. Well, they certainly do dress up, don't they? As do priests in churches today, don't they? But they thought it made them better than everybody else. And there were lots of other things that they did which thought that made, made them think that they were better than other people. The way that they, when they did good deeds, they wanted to do it so that everybody noticed it. The way that they sat at the head of the table at the banquet, they got the very best seats where everybody could see them. And they did very little to help anybody else. In fact, they made the laws so difficult that it was really difficult for people to worship God because they just couldn't keep up with all the things that they were being expected to do. Now, Jesus was really cross with that, wasn't he? And he said that, actually, if you want to be special, then you have to learn to be really ordinary. You have to do all the ordinary jobs that have to be done, and you have to do them without expecting to be thanked and without anybody noticing you. So you have to be a servant before you can be exalted. Exalted means that you are at a higher level than everybody else. So Jesus was really very sure of this, wasn't he? So I think that actually in our everyday lives, we could do a few jobs and be a servant, couldn't we? And they wouldn't have to be really big jobs, would they? We could... Well, Jesus talks here about lifting a heavy burden. We could literally do that, couldn't we? If somebody's going shopping and they've got all their heavy shopping bags, there's no reason why we shouldn't go and lend a hand to carry them. Things like helping out at home, which I know don't really leap to mind as something that you, you really want to do. But actually, 
if everybody lends a hand and does the small jobs, then they all get done more quickly, don't they? Um, who knows, perhaps you will find them enjoyable. And it's not showing off either, is it? Just because perhaps you've been given a special title, perhaps you're captain of something or leader of something, and it's it's not you that's that's really saying, I'm better than you because I've got this. So I think that's really important that that we remember that. So I'm hoping that that these four will actually perhaps help me out in the future because I really got quite good at doing the housework towards the end. So have a look and see if there's any way that you can serve this week, help somebody out when they're not expecting it. I think you'll find that actually you'll feel quite good about that. See you again later. Bye.